We're on Lake Toho. We got our first fish of the day on. It is a Lake Toho giant. <laughs> We're out here fishing. I haven't done a video in a while. We've had like three weeks of horrible wind. It's blown like 25, 30 miles an hour pretty much almost every day for the past three weeks. It's probably gonna blow today. It's not right now, but we're gonna see what we do. We got, we got a dozen shiners. We're trying to get some big fish. We're sitting here on a big offshore grass bed. That was his first bite of the day. You let that thing eat it for a while too, didn't you? Yeah. Let him eat it for a while. It's just weird. The fishing's been weird. The water's like 68 degrees. It's the first time it has gotten down in the 60s so far this year. We need some cooler water. We've been catching some big fish and we're gonna, I don't know what we're gonna catch them on today. It's been a worm bite. When this wind picks up, we're gonna try and catch them on something that's not a worm. So that one came on my big 10 inch ribbon tail. First fish, so stay tuned. Oop, there it went. Is it down? Yep, it's down. It's had it long enough. I just tighten it out and set it. Got him? Yep. Can you come up here? Is that a, pretty, yeah. is that a decent fish? A Got a shiner fish. bite! Biting. It's not jumping, is it? Nope. It didn't blow up on it, which the majority of bass are going to chase it up the surface and explode on it. But it's also not shaking its head like one of those big gar. Big old fat bass. That's a bass. Man, I thought he was way bigger. Wouldn't you have <laughs> thought he was bigger than that? Are you kidding me? I thought he was bigger. Dude, this fish was bulldogging like a four or five pound bass, <laughs> wasn't it? You gotta be kidding me. He's like two pounds. Yeah, let me get a picture of that. Just the way, those, sometimes those big fish will just sit there and run and do that yeah. whole big pot. You want to hold it? Sure. They'll get bigger. Yeah. Got to get bigger than that. <laughs> Whoop, is that down there? already went down. down. Already. Yeah, we found where they're at. Oh, he's just feeling the line out like crazy. There you go. I just, when it clicks, it's just going to be tight. All right. Good. That fish was just running line out like crazy. That fish was going 100 miles an hour, wasn't it? Yeah. It's about down at the south end of the lake. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way this spot's been, though. You'll fish little areas, and then all of a sudden they're in one spot. One spot. All holding in one spot. Oh, it's a nice Ooh, one. He's a bigger one. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Rod the other way. Oh, uh, yeah. Just run around this yeah. way. That's a little bit better. A little bit better. Nice. We'll baby step it up there. With some bigger fish. He looked bigger when he jumped. Yeah. They're getting bigger, though. That works with me. So, weird bite, though, because neither one of those fish have blown up on them. They've just come up and uh, taken the shiner down. I didn't even see that one, just the line was peeling out. Yeah about three pounds three and a quarter just a long one i can uh nice one. We got it yeah. picture so the wife knows it happened yeah so she knows i went fishing <laughs> there you go nah, not you're catching them out like one little spot though aren't you yeah right up in this area I got mine on. Hopefully, a lot of these fish won't make it to the video. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just have a bunch of four and five pounders in there. Yep. 10 inch worm, 12 inch bass, 10 inch worm. So we've caught about, I don't know, about four on a worm now. He's had like four fish on a worm. We've caught a couple on shiners. We've been out here 
for not quite two hours. Um, and we've literally, we're on a big offshore hydrilla bed on Lake Tahoe, and we're not moving around. It's not because we're shining, we have shiners out that we're not moving around, because typically when you shiner fish, you're gonna anchor the boat up. Or you control them, but a lot of times we're anchored up. Anyway, even if we did not have live bait right now, I would still be sitting here with my talons down because that's just the way you fish here a lot. You'll get where you drift through grass beds, submerged grass beds, drift over areas, but where a lot of people mess up is they'll catch a fish and then they just keep moving. And we fished over there, we fished over there, we fished a couple different spots here. We didn't get bit till we got right here and he's literally caught like four fish on a worm from in an area that may be the size of the deck of the boat here, yeah. casting the same spot. And that, that's where, if you're, a lot of people are struggling right now, I keep talking to people at boat ramps, people aren't catching them that great, is if you fish down a grass line, 500 yard long grass line, and you catch a fish here, and then 20 yards down, you catch another fish, a lot of guys will look back at that 500 yard long stretch and they'll go, I only caught two fish in that 500 yard area. Where actually you caught two fish in a 20 yard area. And what you need to do is if you have poles, whatever brand they are, put those suckers down and sit there and wear that spot out. Cause sometimes you'll be surprised you can catch eight or 10 fish in a little tiny area. And uh, just get off that trolling motor sometimes and slow down. And that'll answer a lot of questions I've been getting lately. Thought someone was about to eat that shiner. Yeah, it's moving. I got one here. Oh, he's going under the shiner line. Thought he was all tangled up in the shiner. Yeah. That was on the black with blue flake. They haven't been that particular on a worm. Like I've been catching them on a my pippinator, the eight big eight inch trick worm. Yeah. On that 10 inch ribbon tail. I've been catching them on the black with blue flake. I've been catching them on the plum apple that everybody seems to like. And I've been I caught some on a watermelon red the other day. I threw in our 10 inch, we have that uh um, black emerald color, like black or green, and they hit that just as good. Really? That's not typical for Toho. Yeah, a lot of times here, it's like specific. this is the color they want, and, and it's been like that kind of this whole yeah, year. A couple years I've been coming down, it's been black and blue. Yeah. And they've just, uh, they're not as picky. It is the, the it's more the technique that you're doing than the actual right. bait you're throwing. You just got to go super slow. decent when he blew up on it. They'll fool you sometimes. Wanna hit that GoPro? Oh yeah. It's the button on the top. It's hard to pull on the trail like grass, isn't it? Yeah, he's still there, I can feel him. Right now we're fishing the edge of a submerged grass bed and we're actually sitting in the grass casting out so we can cast these things downwind. And all the patches of grass. I'm a little bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah, maybe not. He sure looked bigger when he blew up on it. There it is. The blow the blow up weighs two pounds more than the fish did. <laughs> That's one of those ones if we'd have lost it, we'd be like, man, that one had to be over five. Yeah. About two pounds. Just another one. So now it's like uh, time 9.20 in the morning. We got about, about 10 fish in the boat, about half on shiners, about half on a worm. We're just trying to find a bigger bite, but they've all been in that like one to three pound range. That one was about three pounds, wasn't it? Almost. Uh, oh yeah, one. one was a little over three pounds. Yeah. Just caught. And uh. Three and a quarter. But we still got plenty of time left. The shiner's still good. Yeah. 
You don't get to reuse shiners too many times. Usually they're done, but if that one's still swimming. Yeah, they were still swimming. There we go. Got them? Back? <laughs> Not a big one. Finally. Finally. How many casts of that was the worm? Uh, half a dozen. So what you guys don't see in the video, sun's right in the camera, but uh, is for the past couple hours, he's been throwing a chatterbait or a bladed jig and I've been throwing a lipless crankbait. And I threw my thumper speed worm a little bit. We caught nothing on it, nothing, nothing. Don't know why, weather's perfect for it. Switches back to the worm and we get bit again. Should be getting a shad spawn here soon as we get into December. There usually is one in December. Um, which will get these fish moving around, but it's just been a warm. I'm switching back to a warm too. That was on that ribbon tail, wasn't it? Yep. On a ribbon tail again, and I'm gonna throw the eight inch trick worm. But uh, we're catching them, but just only on the warm. That's why I haven't put out a lot of videos lately, which I said I was gonna put out more. It's just been a lot of warm fishing. So you're gonna see this one, more warm fishing. There's minnows up in the edges of the grass. You see them scatter every once in a while when yeah. you hit? The fish aren't coming out and eating them. Usually on these grass lines, what you want to see is not schooling fish, but just occasionally you want to see a fish blow up on the edge. Right. We didn't see it yesterday either, or the day before. We do have a high pressure system sitting on us, which tends to make the fish stay down yeah. even more. Like the fish when we were catching the day the way they were They're digging. All staying down, yeah. right. A couple days ago, when we caught those bigger fish, you couldn't keep the fish in the water. Really? No, every, I mean, we jumped off fish, because, and that guy fished a lot of tournaments, local tournaments and stuff, and yeah. he was keeping his rod down like this, doing all that whole deal, yeah. and those fish were coming up just like that. <laughs> that one hit way out. Not a bad one. Camera even on? Yep, it is. That's pulling pretty good. It has been a slow afternoon. Warm bite. A couple pounds. Nothing amazing. Beating the banks. It's all about hydrilla. That one hit about 10 feet out from the grass. Really? Yeah. Black and blue pippinator. They're on fire now. Out from the grass though, you see that again? And when you're fishing these hydrilla lines, what I see a lot of people do is they get right up on top of them and flip them, which is fine to do, but you don't have to get, we're not getting a lot of bites right now. We're getting no bites right up against the grass. You, only, you missed one a little, or one grabbed yours a little bit ago, didn't it? Yeah. These fish, the two I just have caught and the one that grabbed his, and let it go. They're like 10 feet from this grass line. So they're not always just locked on the grass. Sometimes you gotta get out from them and just make some cast to it. It's not as cool as flipping or punching. Getting to tell your buddies you caught one punching, but just casting a worm like that, right at the grass lines will catch you some fish. They got fins and they move around sometimes. 